think we all knew this debate was coming, right? It was time to have the friendly and healthy debate of Team USA, the 24 team. We're going to compare it against the greatest team of all time as far as Olympics play go from a basketball standpoint, the 92 Dream Team. So today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit about what if the 24 team would have went up against a 92 team. But before I get into that, if you guys, please enjoy the content that I am doing. Please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Again, I do appreciate all the support I do get on my videos. It's just always nice to see and encouraging to see as well. But again, for today's video, we're going up against the 92 Dream Team versus the 24 US team. Let's compare the like, let's compare the rosters a little bit, right? Um, I think from an advantage standpoint, if we're looking at the teams, the two teams, of course, you know, the 24 team has to go through um, the Olympics. They haven't really started yet. Dream team, of course, was undefeated in a dominant, dominant fashion. And it wasn't even close, um, but also to the international play is a lot different back then compared to now. Um, I feel like from an a international standpoint, teams are a lot better of course a lot of the players across the world is a lot better um compared to what the 92 dream team went up against but regardless you know if we're looking at the positions comparing them you know you had david robinson you had patrick you know and then you compare that again to like we have bam you have ad you have joel and bead um you know from an advantage standpoint you know when you're really looking at that you can compare you know, I would probably say, at least from a, a more skilled wise, you know, how can you not go AD and Joel and Bead? You can even throw Bam in there because Bam is like one of the, you know, most skilled defensive big men out there. You know, he can do all five positions. So, you know, Bam, Bam is very good from that standpoint. Um, yeah. And, you know, who would y'all guys pick there? David Patrick versus Joel AD. I would probably lean more towards the 92 dream team you know patrick union he was great you know this is also to even look at it like from an age standpoint you know during that time patrick was like 29 30 even david was like 20 around the 26 mark um so you know they're fairly young there um but i probably lean more towards uh the 92 dream team from that regard then of course when you go from a guard standpoint <laughs> you look at the 92 dream team you have a prime prime Michael Jordan, you got a Clyde, you got John Stockton, you got, of course, Magic. But from Magic standpoint, this is when he already retired. He was already retired from the NBA. You know, he's going through his whole situation. But still, he's 32, right? You know, it's not like Magic was 40 and he couldn't play. Um, he was still 32. He was just going through all his stuff. <laughs> um, and then from the 24 USA team, you you know, from a guard standpoint, of course, you have Devin Booker. You got Steph. Um, you got, I guess you can kind of throw them in there. You know, you, you got Anthony Edwards, Drew Holiday, Tyrese, Derek White. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a, you know, it, it's, you can never go against a prime Michael, <laughs> right? From a guard standpoint, I think just from that standpoint, I got to give it to the 92 dream team just because again, you got Michael as a guard and there's not one guard on the 24 usa team that can compare or compete against a prime michael right you know maybe anthony edwards but he's still he's still young he's only 22 23 you know i think he still need a couple more years um and i'm just looking at it from the matchup standpoint of mj you know do i have do i pick anyone else over like from a guard standpoint probably not right you know i, I think steph at this point of his career he's still one of the most dynamic point guards. Um, now, when I look at it though, I do feel like the 24 USA team has better defenders from a guard standpoint um, than the 92 Dream Team, like John Stockton, he ain't locking nobody down. Like Clyde, yeah, you know, Clyde, Clyde he was good, but you know, he's not, he's not shutting anyone down. Um, so, I'm just really looking at it from from a, a Michael standpoint. Of course, you know Magic's a little bit older too. I'm not I'm not really, you know, looking at Magic to be a lockdown defender compared to the 24 team. You got Derek White, Drew Holiday. He's a dog. Um, you know, Devin Booker can play a little bit of defense when he wants to. Um, but I, I'm really looking at it from a, a Derek White and a a um, 
Drew Holiday standpoint where they can really like they focus on locking in and locking guards down. But this is where I have the 24 team. They have the clear advantage, in my opinion, from the forward position. Um, well, I mean, we'll look at it first, you know, from the 92 Dream team, you had Larry Bird, but of course, this is a much older Larry at this point. Um, you had Scottie Pippen, which was a little bit younger, right? We had Scottie Pippen, you had Carl Malone, Chris Mullen, Barkley. Um, he, he's, a, you can throw Barkley in there, which Barkley was probably like the, at least from that 92 Dream team, he did, of course, when he was probably like the best player on that, on that team. Um, I think he averaged about 18 points a game. But from the 24 USA team, of course, <laughs> you look at that, you have Durant, you got KD, uh, you have LeBron, you got Jason Tatum. I, I think from a forward standpoint, uh, this is where, I mean, hell, you really want to. AD can play forward or center as well, but just, for, just from a frontline forward standpoint, it's clearly already you got LeBron, you got AD, um, and you got Jason Tatum. I mean, there's just... There's, there's no one on there's no one on the 92 dream team that's going to be able to stop that when they want to get to their spots um yeah so from from that standpoint i'm rocking with the 24 usa team but i think it would be a good matchup i know you know it's always you know people are always going to compare you know it's still to be determined you know how the team ends up the 24 usa team you know are they going to go undefeated and are they going to go undefeated in a dominant fashion that's still to be determined you know, there was even comments in the past before where Kobe thought the uh, 12 Olympics team could have beat the dream team that I will probably disagree with because um, back then. Yeah, I mean, back then, they were, you know, they were kind of closer more towards their prime. You know, the 92, the 92 dream team was a little bit older. You know, back then you had Kobe, Carmelo, Westbrook. You had a young KD, you had a young Braun. So I, I definitely would have probably picked the 92 dream team over the 12 team, but I, I kind of see that. I mean, what was Kobe supposed to say that they're supposed to lose? Um, but I, I would definitely think it would be a good matchup. I think it would be, you know, if, if it was a one of what if situation, I think it would, they would match up very, very well. Now who, who will win in a seven game series, you know, who knows, right? Who knows? But that, that's the, that's the fun in this to have healthy debates of what if scenarios. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys have in this situation? Would you guys pick the 92 dream team? Would you guys pick the 24 USA team? Um, and if so, how many games um, for either team? If you had them in the best of seven, let me know your guys' thoughts down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like again. Subscribe to the channel. I got much more content coming your guys this way. Catch you guys later. Peace.